Hi guys. Um, well, I've done something I've been threatening to do for a long time. I uh, finally picked up one of these uh, diamond testers on eBay. They're not much. I think they're like, it was like 11 bucks, I think, with shipping and everything. But uh, anyway, haven't used it a whole lot yet. But the uh, reason I got it was because I had a theory that you'd be able to test for the difference between uh, normal alumina ceramic on chips and the uh, beryllium oxide, which is poisonous. Uh, if you, you know, inhale or ingest the dust. Anyway, um, so the way it works is uh, it tests the thermal conductivity. Uh, diamonds are, are very high in thermal conductivity. I forget what the units are, but I think they're like 1500. And uh, I think Beryllia, if I remember correctly, is somewhere around half of that. And, and uh, Alumina is, is much lower. So, uh, I found this tends to creep over time. I think you're normally supposed to adjust it to about three, and it gives you some leeway. And um, Anyway, it, it seems to creep up over time, so I'm going to set it fairly low, and we'll see what happens here. Uh, it's got a metal uh, strip on the back side here, which is kind of a safety feature. If you should uh, uh, touch something... Well, if you're testing something and you touch the metal part, which your hand is contacting, it gives you a warning that you're touching metal. So, for example, if you were testing a diamond in a ring and uh, you accidentally got to the edge of it where you were touching the metal, getting a false reading, uh, you would know. But uh, anyway, uh, this is a known beryllium oxide item. It's a um, 416C Western Electric tube. Um, and these have been around since the 1960s. They're still popular with the, you know, tube guys. But um, this is the C version, which has the, uh, the beryllium oxide ceramic. Uh, the A and the B version have uh, glass, which you can actually see through. But you'll see what happens if I, if I touch that uh, white ceramic there. I'm getting a what would normally be a diamond indication. In this case, it's reading beryllium oxide. Um, so that's kind of my known standard. And then if I test that against uh, some just normal chips, this is a Western Electric chip. It's reading fairly high, but it's not going, well, it's kind of right on the edge. Again, like I said, this thing creeps over time. I think I'm gonna turn it down to where it shows nothing. Okay, now i got a lower reading. Let me see if I still get the beryllium oxide. Yep, that still gives me full scale. Okay, so I, you have to watch that while you're using it because it does kind of creep. Um, so, I mean, that would be safe to handle. That's the standard alumina. Um, and if you've ever seen these before, they actually have a ceramic wafer. It's a plastic cap on the bottom side. Um, and uh, it's actually got a, uh, a gray rubber coating with uh, um, gold traces underneath it. It's kind of what they look like. So, so in this case, I got to make sure I'm testing the top side because the bottom side's plastic. You see, it's creeped up again. But you know, it's a cheap thing. There. What do you expect? I was amazed it was that cheap. All right, let's see what we get in this one. Not showing normal ceramic. But the bottom plate there is showing as, I'm gonna make sure I'm not touching any metal there. Yeah, so the outside part is showing as beryllium oxide, but the middle is not. And I found that same thing on, uh, which was it? Um, this is out of a Tektronix scope board, and uh, well, Tektronix or HP, I forget now. But anyway, on this one you'll see if I test the gray part in the middle, which is just that cap, 
it's reading normal lumina but if I touch the um, oops I might have been on metal well you know when I did this earlier it was consistently reading as beryllium oxide on the outside part but it was adjusted differently so it's still a little iffy but uh, it gives you a good indication what you're looking at I mean I would consider these safe but uh, like I said on the on the known beryllium oxide it's definitely positive reading I just wish I had more here to uh, demonstrate with I thought I had some of those uh, RF transistors around with the white caps but I can't locate any I think this is this would probably be one here but in very small areas I can uh, in contact with where I'm not hitting metal. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's what I want to show you.